Hey, welcome in friends. Uh, I'm inviting you to join me on a Lenten journey of devotions. Now, you might understand what devotions are, but maybe you're from a background that doesn't know about what Lent is, or you just think it's a Catholic thing, or it's some other denominational thing, and you, you just don't understand what it is. Lent is a symbolic period of time in which we prepare ourselves to celebrate what Christ did for us. So we take 40 days, and that 40 days is based on the idea that Jesus was tempted for 40 days in the wilderness that was in preparation for him starting his ministry. So as we are looking to the conclusion of his ministry on earth, we spend 40 days with our reflections on what he did for us. So that's why the 40 days. Now, if you're looking at when this starts and how it actually happens, you're going to say it's not actually 40 days. It's more than that. Well, the 40 days don't count Sundays uh, because that's the resurrection day. That's a celebration day. So as we're doing this whole preparation through Lent and reflecting on various different things, we, we don't count the Sundays. We just count 40 days from going backwards before the resurrection to get all those 40 days. So it begins on Ash Wednesday. Um, and as we go through, we'll talk about some of the things along the way. But if you're like, I'm not into this, I don't know what it is, don't worry about that. Just think of it as, I'm going to spend some time with God preparing for Easter. That's all you need to know, friends. That's all that matters. Whether you're giving something up, whether you're practicing any of those other things, you certainly can spend time with God's Word. So I'm inviting you to join me, to hang out, to binge this, to go through it all, however you would like to. Play it on double speed. That's what I would do. Uh, whether you're watching or not, or reading the screen, or listening to it in your earbuds, and just lurking as you listen to it, spend time with God's Word, reflecting on who He is, and what He's done, and what His Son did for us, as we approach and celebrate Easter, the culmination of the fullness of God's love for us. So I hope you join me. Hope you stick through it to the end. And we'll see you after Easter and uh, see what God's up to. I think he's up to some pretty cool things. I think he's up to something really cool in the world.